Hi, my name is uh, Sebastian Matteau and what I'm going to do today is to unbox the Aquarius M10 Ubuntu tablet. And it is the full HD edition to be exact. Now, uh, I'm pretty excited about this because this, this tablet, this Ubuntu tablet, promises to be the first tablet that offers full convergence. Which means that it's supposed to just work as a tablet if you, if you use it as a tablet. But if you connect it to an external monitor and if you connect a Bluetooth keyboard and desktop uh, keyboard and a mouse to it, then it supposedly changes into a desktop essentially, uh, which would be really cool. Now, this is a first generation device, so I, I, I expect some, some bugs and some troubles and maybe some sluggishness, but I'm nevertheless very excited to see uh, what is in this box. So. Uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's open it up and take a look at the Ubuntu M10 Full HD uh, tablet. I literally just, uh, just received this. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look what's in the box. Bunch of papers. Uh, a cover. If uh, because this is uh, if you pre-ordered it, you got a, a pretty cool uh, sleeve uh, for free. So uh, that, that's what this is. It's a kind of a I cho chose the cherry uh, the cherry colored sleeve. Mm, let's take a look at it later. A screen protector. But of course, what it's all about is this uh, this little thing right here, the actual tablet. It's in your hands. Pretty small box. Now, mm, Aquarius M10 Ubuntu edition. Let's open it up. Mm. Exciting. I should probably mention that I already have the Ubuntu phone, which is by the same Spanish uh, Spanish uh, uh, tablet phone maker, BQ, um, and it's a pretty sweet phone. It has some quirks, it, but it runs the same operating system as this this tablet, and it's um, across the board. I'm pretty happy about it. Okay, so this is nice. Uh, I think it's nice. It's the, the, the wrapping. The wrapping is nice. Okay, so there's a little box in it. Let's open it up, and there it is. There it is. All right, what it's all about: the tablet. Now, oh, the tablet. Voila. Okay, now. And just a standard micro USB charger that comes along with it. Make some room. Okay. I don't know what this is. It may be like an instruction manual or something. So I don't know about you, but I'm always a little bit unsure what to do like when you when you start this gadget for the first time. Do you have to like charge it or can you start it right away? I'll probably start it right away with Maybe it says here. No, it's just some papers. Let's start it. Let's boot him up. Her up. Okay. Okay, so it's actually, just to talk a little bit about the build, build quality, it actually seems to be pretty decent. Uh, I'm not disappointed. The Ubuntu phone that I have is a little bit flimsy, I think, in terms of build quality. But uh, this one is quite nice. I don't know how well you can see it. It feels it's quite heavy, it feels, feels good. Alright, there we go. Booting it up. You're allowed to fast forward, huh? This is going to take a while. Powered by Ubuntu. Mm, nice. 
okay? If my phone is any indication, this will take like a minute or something to, uh, to boot up, so. Okay. <clears throat> maybe take this, maybe take this time while it's booting up. I'm going to take, take a quick look at the sleeve. So, I, let's put this baby here. So I thought it was a nice was a nice gesture that you get got a sleeve for free if you pre-ordered it. Oh. All right, well, hmm, it's just a sleeve. It's your average sleeve. There we go. So there we go. This is the actual Ubuntu startup screen. It's the same. It's the same as on my phone, actually. It's the same. Uh, looks the same. Ah. Then we get a first. Maybe I should come a little bit closer. Welcome to your Ubuntu device. Get started. Okay. Continue. Please select how you would like to unlock your device. All right, so you can select your security thing. I, you know what, for now, just get, let's go with a swipe. I usually add security though, because, uh, but I'll change that later. Available networks, ah, we need to connect to Wi-Fi. Hmm, I don't have any Wi-Fi right now. So uh, let's skip this for a second. Location, you have to indicate how you want your, whether you want to use GPS and Wi-Fi and stuff. So uh, <clears throat> I'll go for GPS and Wi-Fi, which is the most accurate, okay? Nice work, your device is now ready to use. That's it, basically. Pretty light setup. I expected that I had to sign into the, into the uh, Ubuntu store. Ah, look, like I touch it and it gives you some instructions. So swipe, swipe from the left side. So basically, if you swipe from the left side on these Ubuntu devices, you get your menu with the applications. It says try again. Up. Okay, you almost got it. I'm not a, clearly not a pro. I don't. I don't get why. Okay. So these are the the these are the like the the shortcuts to your applications. Okay. Yeah. If you have if you swipe from the right side, you get like an overview of all the applications that you have open. Which is pretty sweet and it works quite smoothly on my, even on my phone, even though my phone is quite slow. On the bottom, usually if you swipe from the bottom, you get like application menus. Like so for example if you're writing a for example if you're writing a text message on my phone, if you swipe from the bottom you would open up a new text message. That's the general type of functionality that's generally hidden below bottom swipes. Okay, yeah, so it says here, this action, swiping from the bottom, does different things for different apps. Okay, there we have the, the today screen. Mm. Well, and this is basically it, huh? So the today screen is like your desktop that has what they call scopes on it, which are like kind of like little widgets that, for example, show, your, your, show, your, show the weather, show calendar uh, appointments, etc., etc. If I swipe from the left, you see that there's my applications. If I swipe from the top, you see that uh, you have the settings menu, essentially, like things like sound, network, etc. Swipe from the bottom, up, there you go. You can basically customize your, your home screen, your, your today screen, okay. And swipe from the right is changing between applications, but I don't have any applications open right now, so I cannot really show you. Let's, let's just open. I'll give maybe a more thorough review later, but just let's just open uh, let's open the the cam. Well, let's open the settings application. Okay, so the system settings actually opens here on the right side. It's kind of peculiar. Yep. So. Hmm. Let's see, oh wait, yeah, so if you're in these scopes, if you like swipe in the scopes to the left and the right, you go from one scope to another. It's quite sweet. 
And this is the app scope, which I actually on my phone has, I have as the default scope because it's where it's kind of like a menu thing with all the applications, which is usually what you want, right? So, uh, ah, and here you have, you, that's, that was what I was looking forward to. Here you actually have LibreOffice. So because this, is, this, this tablet should be able to function as a desktop, there should be actually full desktop applications on the tablet. Uh, now, I don't think using LibreOffice on a tablet is like necessarily a very good idea, but let's just tap on it and see what happens. So LibreOffice is like a free, uh, a free open source uh, Microsoft Word replacement, right? Okay. Okay. Write a, write a document. Well, there we go. That's LibreOffice for you. Well, no problem. Well, that's pretty sweet and it's, it's quite snappy. It's quite snappy. Well, uh, overall, first impressions, it's a sturdy, sturdy device, quite he heavy, it has a nice screen, it works reasonably snappy, I think the phone, Ubuntu phone already was quite snappy, it has a bunch of apps that I'll have to play around with a bit more to see whether they, they are good or not, um, well, that's it, I'm pretty excited. Uh, pretty excited also to connect an external monitor and a keyboard and a mouse to it, which I may make a little video uh, of later. Right? Well, that's it for now. Unboxing the Ubuntu M10 Full HD uh, tablet.